Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. As you can see, we are looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, movie accessory set. Uh, now, I have gotten away from doing shipping carton unboxings because it's kind of boring to look at, but I completely forgot what's in this set. I pre-ordered it from NECA months ago. I don't even know how long ago. I think before the end of 2020. And now it's here. it showed up the other day, and the first thing that shocked me was how big it is. Uh, this thing is huge. So I think there's like a TV in here, and that's literally all I can really remember that's in this accessory set. So we're going to open it up, check it out, see what's in here right now. Uh, I'm going to take out my trusty 1964 box cutter, slice right through that tape at the top of the carton. Uh, NECA is, at this point, I think, pretty well known for carefully packing everything that they ship out. Uh, so I'm interested to see what size the actual product container is versus this fairly large box. And look, there it is. There's that uh, wacky bubble container that NECA uses. Uh, the only other thing I've ever seen packed in one of these kinds of bubble envelope deals is i think a blu-ray player i got from amazon maybe was in something like this some kind of some some piece of electronics that i ordered came in something like this and i have not seen anything anybody else use this although I'm, you know i'm sure somebody else is but i love that NECA has them uh made i'm throwing this tape away because i'm going to save this thing because it's too it's too nice of a, a shipping protection piece to get rid of you can see the box itself is a good bit smaller than that shipping container but still probably a little bit bigger than i thought it would be uh the movie poster graphic on the front accessory set looks great uh back of the box and just a bunch of images that don't a hundred percent tell me everything that's in here it doesn't come with the... Oh, well, okay. Well, yeah, here, here's the list of everything that it comes with. But but we're going to open it up and check it out. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles accessory set. Now you can catch America's favorite green teens in their first live-action blockbuster film. After wading in a puddle of radioactive waste, these radical reptiles are transformed into New York, New York City's greatest crime-fighting quartet. This special edition, edition accessory set is shell-packed with brand new items from the 1990 film. Accessorize and enhance your figure collection with items shown here. Kind of struggled through that one a little bit there, guys. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and just open it up. 1964 box cutter, slice through the tape, you know the drill. I'm wondering... Okay, yeah, it's going to be that side up. I'm, I'm sure they're pretty securely packed in here, but still, I want to slide it out carefully so nothing goes flying away. All right, so what I'm going to do is take just a moment, because I had to go way back for that big shot. I'm going to take a moment to adjust my frame, and then we'll come back and take a look at everything that's in this set. Wow. All right, now we can take a closer look at everything that's in this set. Okay, we do have a couple of pieces of tape securing the top on there. Like I said, I don't want anything just flying out randomly, so I'm going to try and carefully ease this thing open. I guess I could have done this while I was doing my cut, but whatever. Okay, tons of stuff in here. When I looked at the back of the box, I was a little confused because I was like, well, I've already got the baby turtles, but then I realized what I have are the uh quarter scale baby turtles they this is the first release of the 12th scale or i guess 10th scale whatever scale NECA stuff is the smaller scale uh this is the first release of the baby turtles in this size uh i've got the quarter scale ones so that's awesome they look great they're four identical little figures and that's fine do we have an articulate? No, that's okay. Uh, but they look great. Tons of painted detail. They look just like the adorable little animatronic puppets you saw in the movie. They're awesome, and you need them all. Let's compare uh, their paint jobs here and see what we're looking at. Yeah, okay, so the decos are a little bit different on them. Sculpt is the same. 
but the deco is different on each one. Whoop. Oh, it's like Barrel of Monkeys, except it's Barrel of Turtles. Can we get all four of them on here? I apologize if this is not entertaining for you, but this is extremely entertaining for me. Look at that. Successfully linked all four turtles. It's like a barrel of turtles. Uh, but they are, each one is different and they're adorable and you need them. You got to have these. If you're collecting these movie turtles, you have to have those. All right. Let's put that back in there. And uh, I'm going to adjust my angle real quick again. All right, another key item. Of course, the Turtles television. Old school, uh, not wood grain, but silver TV is the same one from the Nightmare on Elm Street accessory set and from, oh man, I reviewed it here on the channel and now I can't remember what it came with. But we've, we've gotten this TV a couple times before, but never before has it featured the lovely Judith Hoag on the screen. Very cool. Must have. Uh, again, this is all like you could debate whether or not the pizza box is a must have because you've probably already got one from the other movie turtles. But it looks great. It's awesome. Look at that. Eat more pizza, obviously. Not Domino's pizza. It is. Is that going to lift up a little bit? Tile game, <laughs> tile game pizza, better delivery, got the coupons on the top there, uh, it's great, and look at this, opens up and is all greasy on the inside, and, and this is, uh, this is just like cardboard, but it's solid, it's stiff, like as, as long as you don't abuse it, it'll be fine forever, and then of course you have, no, that's not going to close back up, but that's okay, uh, and then four pieces of pizza, Excellent detail on each one. Uh, again, I'm not... Let's take a look and see. Oh my gosh, let's take a look and see if I can get these out of here. Uh, I want to see if they're individually sculpted or if it's just four of the same sculpt. And... Yeah, they're... Mm, they're a little different. Yeah, they are different. They're totally different. So those two are different. And I'm not going to bother, I'm going to guess that they did four different slices of pizza. I'm not going to sit here and dig each one of these out. You get the idea. Uh, manhole cover, solid, sturdy, looks good. Uh, a, you know, one of the trademarks of the turtles. They live in the sewers, guys. Michelangelo's panda bear. Looks worn and ratty. Uh, it's got some damage and a lot of smudges and stuff on it. Looks great. I'm going to put this with my Michelangelo for sure. Right now, on the shelf, my Michelangelo is holding the pizza box that I've already got. Uh, but I think I'm going to give him this panda and just sort of set the pizza box on the floor beside him. Skateboard. With the not-quite-Santa-Cruz logo on there. Uh, tons of detail. Looks great. It's got the grip tape up here. You can see the sides... Just all of that detail is incredible. The the bolts and everything. Uh, and then the trucks underneath, the different colored wheels. Uh, it's a, it's a must-have. you got to have a skateboard for your turtles. Excellent. Uh, we have a newspaper with the hilarious... Uh, it's worse. Crime is on the rise. Look at the printed... I mean, this is just a piece of paper. But the printed detail is just incredible on this thing. I'm trying to decide if it's blurry or it's blurry. My my camera is not blurring out. It's just blurry. We're number one. Some sort of basketball, something or other on the back. Uh, just nice. Nice little extra piece there. Uh, you'll notice that if you're familiar with the quarter scale turtles, uh, we got chip bags. Oh, these are different. The, oh, wow. These are much nicer. So the quarter scale turtles came with chip bags that are actually uh, like made of potato chip bag material. These are solid plastic printed. Uh, they look great. And this one is open and actually has sculpted pork rinds in there. So these, these are 
far superior to the quarter scale ones, I'm going to say. Uh, I've got the TCRI, Techno Cosmic Research Institute canister, with, of course, the crack in the side right there. Uh, this one opens up just like the quarter scale version does. So if you want, and I'm trying to look inside and see here, I can't quite tell, but it looks like that crack goes all the way through. Yeah, that crack goes all the way through. So if you have a tiny amount of toy slime or ooze or glop or whatever your... Pref wow, that really has to go on a specific way. Uh, whatever your preferred toy slime is, you can fill this up with your toy slime. Oh, come on. All right. I'm going to give up on having everything in the background. And have a little slime leaking out of the canister. Excellent. Uh, this, this is... This is it, you guys. This is what NECA does. This kind of detail, all of this stuff is just incredible. Uh, we've got Shredder's Damaged Helmet. Now, this is not... Uh, the Shredder figure does not have a removable helmet. So, this isn't going to be interchangeable or anything. But it's, it's great from the end of the movie... Uh, when it's sitting there ready to be crushed by Casey Jones, who murders Shredder, or so we think. Absolutely essential piece, Turtle Wax. Oh yeah, visual jokes are funny. Looks great. This is a highly anticipated piece for me because... One of the first things that happened when I opened up my movie turtles is one of Michelangelo's nunchucks broke. So here, now on the quarter scale figures, the way that this plugged in was a little different. So you could actually spin the nunchucks, like you could give them a flick and they would actually spin. Uh... This is different. This isn't this one isn't going to do that. And I don't know if I would have preferred uh so the oh gosh, what brand is it? One of the Japanese it might be the figure arts turtles, I'm not sure, but from the the uh older Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon came with a basically a disc to represent Michael Michelangelo's nunchucks being swung. And it looks really, really good. I, I don't know if they could have carried off that effect for this realistic movie style. So just as it is, this is what we've got. And I'm going to be using this because I, I need another... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've only got one set of nunchucks for Michelangelo because the string snapped on the other ones. Uh, all right. We've got uh, Donatello's... Wait, is it Donatello or Leonardo who wears the straw hat? Tell me in the comments, people. Uh, I believe it's Donatello who wears the straw hat, but incredible detail on this. Not just the sculpted detail, but look at the painted detail here. Uh, I mean, it looks like if, if you've, you know, if your dad mowed the lawn in one of these, which my dad did, you've seen these kinds of straw hats. Uh, and this is what they look like, excuse me, this is what they look like after a few years. Uh, all the holes go all the way through. Like, this is this is great. And then you can see right here, uh, it's got a little place for the knot to fit. So it'll, actually, let's uh, let's go ahead and take out one of the extra heads. We have four alternate portraits, one for each turtle that came in this accessory set. And you can see the way that this fits onto the head, like so. So it'll, uh, you know, it doesn't like snap into place or anything, but it's also not going anywhere. It's on there pretty securely. Oh, uh, that's great. Now I'm really questioning whether it's Donatello or Leonardo that wears the straw hat. I really feel like it's Donatello, though. Uh, Leonardo, great alternate sculpt. Um, oh, you know what? I think that answers my question. Because that hat fits pretty perfectly onto Donatello's head, and it doesn't quite fit Leo. 
but these will pop right off. I recommend you heat your figures up before you try and switch the heads out. Uh, we all know that NECA pretty much requires that. We've got a sort of sassy Raphael, maybe uh, a tad disgruntled post uh, joke cracking. I'm not sure, but it's a different, different look, definitely. And then a pensive Michelangelo. He's thoughtful. He's wondering, do I love being a turtle? Oh, see, it fits pretty perfectly on him, too. Let's see. Can I reach the back of the box here? Because now I want to see who's wearing the straw hat. I don't want to leave you guys with incorrect information, even though I do it kind of all the time. Oh, look at that. Donatello in the straw hat. Who's the man? I am every once in a while. Uh, and then finally, we have the street sign. Bleaker and 11th. Uh, looks great. And we've got a little base with a peg. And this can go right next to, if you have it, and if you don't have it, I recommend you try to get it, uh, the diorama, the city diorama that came out that is just fantastic. Uh, but that can stand right next to your city diorama, looking cool, making it more New York-y. So there you go, Phantom Maniacs. That is the full 1990 movie accessory set. Uh, I'll be using most of this in my display. Uh, the only things th that were kind of unnecessary, in my opinion, I don't really need a manhole cover. It's cool, whatever, I get it. Uh, but I have nothing to do with this. I've already got the pizza box. I've already got a full pizza. Uh, but still, extra pizza. I can. Matter of fact, what I can do is just stack the other one on top of this one. So I'll have two pizza boxes kind of sitting in the corner. So you know what? That's cool. That's at really everything in here, I would say, except for the manhole cover, is great. And the manhole cover, I'm not going to complain about because it it's awesome. Who doesn't want a manhole cover to go with their Ninja Turtles? Uh, this is a fantastic set. If you pre-ordered it, then you're going to be very happy with it, I think. If you didn't, uh, well, time to hop on eBay and pay those scalper prices because that's what you're going to have to do. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and remember to cuddle your bear.